Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to help you search for files and folders on your computer and it could also search within files if you're looking for something specific. So it's called Agent Ransack. So there are two versions. There is a free version and a professional version. So if you go to their website you could see a comparison here of what each one will do. So the free is called Light, and then if you scroll down past this you can get more information you know, for the specific topics such as search engine, indexing, you see there are no indexing capabilities in the free version, limited office PDF support, no compressed options, data discovery, and so on. So when you install it, it will ask you if you want to install the free version right away, or you could install the professional version and try it out for 30 days. So that's up to you. So if you try that out for 30 days, you don't like it, then you could just go back to the free version and carry on. Or if you don't plan on buying it at all, then you could just go right to the free version and skip the professional version. All right, so I'm running the professional version right now. So there are several tabs here. So you have the main tab where you put your file name, and then there's the containing text option here to search within files, and then where you're going to search. And then you have some filtering options here and date filtering as well. And then each one up here has some specific options as well for your search results. And then you have some options here if you want to do basic search, expert search, or index search. All right, then the options tab here for Boolean expressions. If you want to go line by line or across the whole file, uh, searching within Outlook and Thunderbird, uh, searching Office and PDF documents, and some other files here as well. If you want to sort by a certain date, modified, created, or last accessed, you could do that as well. If you want to use attributes such as archive files, searching hidden folders, and so on, encrypted files as well. Scripting options if you want to get into that. And then if you want to search within compressed files such as zip files or 7-zip files, you could do that as well. And there are also tabs here, which we'll check out once we do a search here. And then at the top, we have the file option here if you want to do a new search, open a search, uh, save your search criteria, export the results of your search, print the results, turn on word wrap, change the font. You could take actions on files once you have search results, such as you know cut, copy, delete, rename, check the properties. Uh, we have some view options here, favorites, toolbars, and so on. Search options to start and stop some tools, windows if you have more than one open, and help. All right, so we're going to search in the C and E drive. You can also click here to select other folders, and you can check whether or not to include subfolders. Then you have the search filters on and off. So we're going to search for Hawaii in both drives. Okay, so it found 45 items and it checked 250,000 items. So that was a quick search to check that many files. It took five seconds and it has the date. And here's the search criteria by file name with 250,000 excluded files. All right, and then we have hits, which just shows you the path. This is more used for the containing text type of search. Same with this. And then there's the preview option here. Let's click on a picture for that to show you how that works. And then, of course, you could preview other files if they're supported. You could change the size as well. And then we have the report of the search. And then from here, you could copy it, save it, print it, and change the options as to what's displayed. And then up here, we can export the results. You could export it to the clipboard or to a file. Change the format. Default is text. You could change to one of these options here. So let's just export it as is, see what happens. So here's our search result file here. Just kind of gives you a summary. Might be better to use something like CSV so it's not such a mess there. Then you could also right-click on files and take actions on them, similar to what you see in File Explorer. 
and we don't have any errors in this particular search. Okay, so now let's do a new search. Let's do a blank search here. This time let's check in documents. And let's do a text search for phishing email examples. Then we could change our options here. You might want to play with these to see which results work the best for you. Let's just say plain text, for example. Click on start. Okay, so this found one file here. Here's the summary. Here's the hits. It shows you where it found it in the document. Same with the text here. No preview and the report. All right, so let's try maybe whole word, see if that makes a difference. All right, so you can see we have more results here after changing it to whole word. Now you can see we have a text file here that has it in there. Word document here. And you can see we have this bar here showing other instances of the search term. Like that. And of course, once you have your search results, you could do some filtering. If we want to do, let's say, greater than one megabyte. Now there's nothing because those were all less than one megabyte. If we go back to this one here, change this to Let's do less than one megabyte over here. So I believe we had 45 results before. So let's see what happens now. So now we have 32 items that are less than one megabyte. And then of course you could change the dates too if you want to really narrow it down. Then you could also come here and change the dates and you know the attributes and so on on your searches. So you can see it's a pretty powerful tool, you know, not super complex, but for most people it should do the job just fine. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Agent Ransack and then you could try out the pro version or just go right to the free version. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.